Good morning everyone and happy Thursdays and welcome to a brand new vlog. It's been snowing as you can see, it's horrible slushy stuff, it ain't great. But yeah, we have a sprinkling of snow outside. So shall we do the titles? Lee, Steve. isn't it miserable? Whose idea was it to come out? <laughs> well, we have to, don't we? <laughs> it's, it's beer day and well, I can't remember, manna oh, and cough God. medicine because you've still got a cough, haven't you, Petal? So, yeah, it's proper miserable out here. I try not to fall so, I know, I've nearly fallen over a couple of times, so we're taking rubbish down and then going to the manor, etc. Chores, bye! Well, that's the view out of my office window this morning. <laughs> it looks like we're a bit snowed in. Looks like I got my wish and we got some proper snow. Let's go and have a look in the cratch. Who <laughs> can't see out the windows, everyone? Of course, it's cold out here. Well, got to go and take Hector for a walk now. Bye. Wow, flipping heck I say. It's still not nice though, because look, it's still all sprinkly and wet. Anyway, let's take the hound for a walk. Look at me stalking Molly. <laughs> Are you stalking Molly, Hector? <laughs> there he goes. Blimey, I'm going to go and work in this. So uh, I'll track her when I get back. And you just all right? Not like I do much about it, she's not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does look nice when it snows, but I say it's that horrible wet snow. Apparently, we're having this this afternoon. So um, we'll see. Bye. Well, what a difference a few hours makes, eh? It's about three and a half hours later since I last videoed when it was snowing, taking the dog for a walk. But now, as you can see, it's pretty much all thawed. So I've got to do a couple of chores now. I've got to fill the boat up with water because I didn't do that yesterday. Replenish the coal and all that sort of stuff. Tend the fire and have a bit of a clear up aboard Hannah. That's about it, bye. Dilly dilly everyone, happy Friday evenings. I do like Friday evenings, now that we've got the weekend, I don't have to keep an eye on emails and all that sort of stuff from work. So yeah, I like that. Anyway, isn't it mad how the weather changed quite so quickly? I was really quite amazed. It's, it's actually quite warm out there later on this afternoon. Well, not warm, but certainly not freezing cold. It was nice in the sun. So um, yeah, so yeah, mad, isn't it? Absolutely mad. And also, I just wanted to touch on the, these Matt Hancock WhatsApp messages. What do you look make of it? Have you actually seen any of it? Um, or is it, I mean, because I don't watch a whole lot of mainstream media. 
I tend to watch, um, see everything on, on uh, YouTube or Twitter and all that sort of stuff. But obviously clips of the news and stuff. But I don't take much, uh, well you all know that I don't take much of the, uh, notice of the mainstream media. But from what I'm understanding and the clips I've seen, all they're really pushing about that Hancock thing on mainstream media is the fact around care homes um, and that he didn't take the advice to have everyone tested and then he's talking bollocks about it, coming back saying well, they couldn't have been and all that sort of stuff. I find it strange that that's what they um, concentrated on when there was so much more scandalous things that, has been, that have been revealed. And uh, there only seems to be one person that I can see that is revealing all this or, or making a point of it, making videos. And that's Matt Tusi. I'll talk about him in a minute. Um, but yeah, one of the amazing things that come out, and this is what I said from the start, because I looked at the figures. I swear to God, I, I didn't just spout shit on, on YouTube and stuff. I actually did look and study at the figures. And I could see it was nonsense. I could see that it, the effect of it was only going to affect a tiny percentage of the population and only people, well actually people over the age, expected age of death, to be honest with you. Now, I, I can't, I always get Witty and Valance mixed up, I think it was Witty that had actually said in these WhatsApp messages about the, um, <laughs> that we can't rush one through because it's not a serious enough disease. That's what he said, he actually said it's not a serious enough a disease to warrant that because it only affects, let's just call it 1%, of the population, mainly people over 80, or people with comorbidities. It's there in black and white, he said it. And yet, we had all these lockdowns and all this nonsense. Um, there was so much more that he revealed as well. He, he had said, we need to scare the pants off of everyone with this Kent variant, which I think really turned out to be Omicron, didn't it? Which is just a bloody cold. Well, the whole thing's only a bloody flu and cold, in my opinion, anyway. And I, I think most of you kind of, or a lot of you, are kind of um, working it out now, at last. Um, he also wanted to try and get Farage arrested because obviously Farage went over to the Trump thing, didn't he, over in America. When he came back, he went to the pub and he was supposed to self-isolate and all that sort. But he had been found negative anyway uh, on these bollocks tests anyway, I have to say. Um, yeah, so they were trying to get him arrested and all sorts of other... Anyone who was speaking out, basically they were trying to get them stop. Uh, there was also something about not giving funding to... Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. I have to be careful what I say here because uh, um, I can't remember exactly <laughs> what it is. But what I'm going to do, and for people who are really interested, and just and actually, I would say every single bloody one of you should go and have a look at this. I'm going to put a link down to Mayor Tusi. He's a political top commentator on YouTube and other platforms, but he gets more views than Sky, BBC, ITV. So he's not some little shit on the internet like me. He's a, a big deal. Um, he does a lot of research, there's a whole team behind him, basically as an alternative news channel. Lovely bloke. And uh, he's got a whole playlist of the Matt Hancock files. So I'm going to link that below. So I would encourage you all to go and have a look so you can actually see what he has actually said. Rather than, oh, I mean, if you read the Telegraph, I think it's in the Telegraph, isn't it? Then uh, perhaps you're up to date with this anyway. But as I say, the mainstream media don't, they're still kind of toeing the line. Uh, and they're not telling you the things that about the actual nonsense of the lockdowns. As I say, you know, it's sad that people die, but people die every bloody winter. And and if you've look, if you've been following, um, and again, I do look at ONS figures. There's more excess deaths over the last few months than there had been at any time during the old bullshit pandemic. So again, you can go and search that for yourself. I know you won't but you can if you want to. And again, you could search that on YouTube or Twitter or whatever platform you like to use, and it'll be there somewhere. So, and it's quite concerning. Uh, I know people have counter arguments for it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. NHS waiting list and all that lot. Well, those were created because they locked us down and we became the COVID um, hospitals rather than the NHS. I mean, us to protect the NHS, the NHS is supposed to fucking protect us, not the other way around. So anyway, oh, that's not a rant, that's just, I'm just interested in what you guys think about what man, Matt Hancock has been saying and whether you've actually heard of a lot of, what, a lot of what he's been saying. So as I say, that playlist is down below. Please go and have a look. Honestly, it's worth it. It's, it's just a playlist and it's all the things about Matt Hancock. So see what you think. I think the bugger should. <laughs> I think there should be Nuremberg too. I wonder if this video is going to be allowed on YouTube. 
Mm. Bye. Lee? Yes. Have you got lady flu? I am. I'm just attention seeking. You are, aren't you? A bit like Gary Lineker. I don't get any attention. Shut up, Ziff. <laughs> Did you enjoy your naughty bench action? <coughs> yes, it was very nice that the ladies joined me. <coughs> mm. For cake and tea on the bench, on the naughty bench. Now I've got lemon and honey and ginger, but I could only get find ginger gra ground ginger <laughs> it's a bit Lee, did, did you hear about Gary Lineker oh, he's a twat. <laughs> it's funny how Lee agrees isn't it do you, do you know what happened though do you know what, what he's not presenting tonight is he good because he, he compared the government to Nazi Germany what a fucking idiot and all the other plebs like Ian Wright and Shearer have all stood behind him and so is that stupid woman who wore the gay thing at the Qatar World Cup. She's a broomy, she's a bloody ex-Villa player. I mean, sorry I say that, you know, ex-Villa player, ex-woman shit rubbish nonsense, right, and who no one watches apart from children and women, which is, uh, it's, 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 it's saying the BBC are pushing because they don't have real football on, on anymore. But tonight, have a guess what they're doing. They're going to have no presenters. And shall I tell you what, I'm going to watch it tonight because it'd be much better without those Fucking idiots Indeed, yeah. talking shite over it because they wind the shit out of me. Gary, Lee, I've, it doesn't matter what his political views are, he's always wound the shit out of me, him and Ian Wright and all that lot. <laughs> Ian Wright's fun, it can be funny because he's a bit of a cheeky boy, but he's still a <laughs> standing behind Gary Lineker. I don't remember any of them standing behind Matt Letizia when he got bloody sacked from Sky mm. because he voiced an opinion. I've got no Good. problem with people voicing an opinion, but don't do it if your contract says you're not allowed to do it on Twitter. So he's a bit of a f***ing idiot. He's been warned enough times, and he is an absolute melt of a shithead. <laughs> Any, he? Anyway, melt I'll tell you. So, I am fucking glad the twat isn't on the BBC. Not that I watch the BBC, because it's a load of old shit, because it has the likes of Gary Lineker on there. So I hope they all stand behind him, and they all yeah. fuck off. And we can just watch football, like tall and dears, without a load of old bollocks around it. Poor Leela. <laughs> Full moon. <laughs> She's going to sleepy night nights while I'm watching Luton you Town. Want my drink while I it's nil nil at the moment. Oh, I've got to turn around then. Oh, was that a good camera action? I can't hold the drink and get on the bed and turn around. Because we have other. It's quite a. T <laughs> so you're sleeping with your shopping? <laughs> We, we seem to have the bed um, shuffle going on again. Bags. I'm bags and washing. Oh. And my... I can't board now. I'm going to go and try and watch the second <laughs> half of Luton. It's nil-nil against Sheffield Wednesday at the moment. <coughs> Sheffield United, sorry, at the moment. I'm going to watch the last episode of The Farm. Okay, I bet you... Clark I bet you... Right, we'll, we'll say it here, right? What's the time? It's nearly four o'clock, right? <laughs> and I bet you I'll come back in here in the hour and Lee will be asleep. She said she's not going to sleep, but I bet you she is. And with that... And her chesty cough, and her lady flu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Makes me cough. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, I was wrong. 
work. You didn't go to sleep, did you? I didn't, know. You will quite early tonight, though, won't you? I think so. <laughs> what did we just have for dinner? Corned beef, crisp bakes, chips and beans. See, Lee could, See even could, though I was dying, I slaved over a hot ninja for you. I'll tell you. <laughs> And Luton won one nil away at Sheffield United. That's a brilliant result. Anyway, that's it for tonight, I think. Because I think Lee's going to sleepy night nights and making weird noises. She's going to keep me awake all bloody nights. So I best have seven beers. See, what on earth are you doing? Sniffing. What are you sniffing? It's burning my nose. I don't understand what you're doing. I've got a, hot, a bowl of hot water and some eucalyptus, <coughs> eucalyptus cypress, cypress, I don't know what that word that is, fennel and something else, can't remember. Oh. Maybe you almost saw a breasticle then. It's That'd be good if you have viewer figures, Lee. Bye. Things, I... They're alright, get them out and show us. No, they're oh. off. I'll tell you, I tried, I tried folks, I did try my hardest, bye. <laughs> Hector absolutely does not care. Dear Hector, hey. he's very mighty. But you look like a druid or something. <laughs> druid. Listen to that weird nonsense there, on. I tell you, we must be mad having a cup of tea out here. It's not quite as warm as I thought it was, but you need to get out and have a bit of air, and I think Lee needs to come out and have a bit of air, because she's still a poorly bunny. So, um, yeah, there we go. Happy Sundays, everyone. Bye. Well, hopefully that's better and you can hear me now. This is the beauty of these mics, you know, because they don't have to stop the wind and all the other noise. They're absolutely bloody amazing things. But anyway, I digress again. But I am impressed with the DJI mic things. Yeah, if you watch our channel, you know I really don't like the wind. I'm fine with torrential rain, I'm fine with thunderstorms, fine with snow, sleet, heat at 40 degrees, which everyone will wind about, which I actually really quite enjoyed. But no, the wind, because you hear things hitting the boat. A few things did hit the boat last night. And then um, something really weird, and I'm honest to God, not bullshitting you now. I was having a, you know, like a half asleep dream. I think I was half asleep, I'm not 100% sure. But um, I was dreaming that I was at our old house and it was really windy. And um, I heard the um, bins fall over or the tops of the bins slamming. So I went out to sort them out. And I swear to God, within 10 seconds of me thinking that, the dustbin out here, flew, the lid flew off, so I had to run out here at seven odd o'clock in me, in me pants, well no, in me jammers, and uh, put a bag of coal on top of the bin. Otherwise, uh, the contents of the bin would have been all over the marina and uh, we'd have got um, told off. <laughs> so yeah, you don't like the wind. And this is set for all day. It's going to get worse later on today, I think. So, not sure what today holds. Not a lot, I don't think. Laters. Lee. <laughs> Are you just sitting here feeling sorry for yourself now? Yes. What do you think's wrong with you? Apart from the obvious. Just a cold. You it's think it's a cold? Gone, gone to my chest. 
Rhododendron. You're going to the doctor's at 2.15 or something, aren't you? Yeah, my nine o'clock appointment was swiped from under me. <laughs> I tell you. At least you got through and got an appointment. Oh, well, yeah. Hey. Only took me 89 redials to get through. <laughs> and then she said, oh, can you get to uh, nine o'clock? I went, yeah, that's fine. And she went, oh, sorry. That one's just gone. I said, you mean the stolen? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> then I had a shower, thought a bit of as I stank. And now, now I'm worn out because I've had a shower. <laughs> Tell you. So I've had some breakfast and I'm just going to lie here. I'm okay. Sure a bit. Bye. I can't cope with the coughing. <laughs> Customers don't want to hear that. Customers. <laughs> Subscribers don't want to hear you right, coughing like your tits off. Or breathe. <coughs> Just as I thought, the normal um, Sunday, <laughs> the normal Monday morning, absolutely quiet with work. Um, that's kind of a traditional thing. That is, it's, it's always been seemed to have been like that while I've been doing graphic design and stuff like that. That Monday mornings are always dead. I think people are still recovering from the weekend, or the marketing teams and that maybe getting their stuff together. And uh, then normally, you know, Tuesdays are normally better. But anyway, I've taken some time because obviously I'm getting excited about doing the camping now with the vlog couple this year. So all our carry on camping stuff. So I thought I'd start kind of having a play with a logo for that, which I'll show you wherever somewhere. Now, I don't know whether this will be the final one, but just thought I'd keep myself busy. Um, and then I've obviously, obviously been, I've had the uh, radio on in, in took background. I was listening to talk radio this morning, Mike Graham. And of course, uh, then I got down the old rabbit hole and on YouTube and hearing all this bullshit about Gary Lineker. And you just knew it was going to happen, didn't you? You just knew it was going to happen. This is why I don't watch the BBC, or one of the reasons. They've caved into him. They've caved into the little wefty, lefty woke wanker and his woke mates. And you know what? If his opinion had been, and this, seriously now, I know a lot of you don't agree with me on or, or what things I say, but just take this into consideration. If Gary Lineker had said something in support of stopping the boats or perhaps something more leaning to the right, there's no way there would have been the outcry on Twitter to, to have him reinstated and there's no way the BBC would have reinstated him. So there's, your, there's my problem is it's, it's biased. So I know a lot of people who watch the BBC who lean to the left say, oh, it's right wing, it's Tory. Well, I'm sorry. I think people who lean to the right look and think, no, it's a load of wank woke bollocks. And uh, that's exactly what it is. So yeah, I kind of knew this was going to happen, Gary. And uh, to be honest, we had a bit sick to death of hearing about him. I knew it was like main headlines. Seriously, a BB, an ex-footballer who presents a crappy old football show on BBC on a Saturday night after everyone's seen their games anyway, because you can see it all on YouTube anyway, or on Sky. Um, headline news. Come on. And not just on BBC, on Blooming ITV and Sky, even GB News, all going on about Gary flipping wanker. So, yeah, I, I, the world is quite strange that we find things like that important. But I do think that now has exposed the BBC. And I hope now people who lean slightly, you know, centre and centre right um, start really hammering on about this because it is absolutely um, obvious that the BBC is biased. I mean, all you have to do is look at Brexit and look at the, the um, percentage of people, the remainers are on to the people who are um, Brexiteers, especially on um, Question Time, which I used to love, by the way. I used to love Question Time and I used to love, um, was it the Andrew Neil thing after a current, this week. And now what a wanker he turned out to be as well, eh? Telling all the people who were unjabbed that we should die, basically. Well, he didn't quite say that. But saying we're all stupid and all that nonsense. You haven't heard him rescind that now, by the way, that it's all coming out, that it's all bollocks anyway. The natural immunity was always going to be better, which we all knew, didn't we? Well, maybe you didn't. I did. Anyway, that's it, I guess. So, yeah. You can tell when I'm a bit bored because I start having a rant on, on, to, on to camera. But yeah, Gary Lineker. Honestly. Oh, he's just a footballer. He's just a bloody footballer. And he shat his pants on the pitch once. <laughs> Bye. Lee? Yes? Can we have an update on your health, um, please? <coughs> I'll see me, you a lot better. Don't let me talk, because I'll cough. Cough I yourself. Went, I went to see Kieran, the paramedic, at the doctor's surgery. And he gave me some antibiotics. So what's up with you? Just infection. Chest infection. Yes. We've been watching loads of porn this afternoon, haven't we? We have. We have, honestly. Haven't we? 
Yeah, it passes the time. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> what was it really called? Porn stars. Porn stars. Yeah, I've been watching a load of porn stars. <laughs> doesn't sound much bad, does it? I might watch some hardcore porn later. <laughs> Is that the same shop? No. <coughs> I can't remember. I'll tell you, I'm going now because it's just too noisy. I know, sorry. I'm all right, little dog. What, what do you think, Hector? <coughs> I think she's just doing it for show. Look at this guy's head in your sleeve. Why don't you put your head down your sleeve, you weirdo? Bye. Look, I'm cooking again. Tonight's menu is these are our, our hot spicy meatballs. Again, Swedish things. So they're not, you know, normal meatballs if you know what I mean. I think they've got all sorts of nonsense in them. And I've just done some onions and we're using a chilli and tomato sauce. That's a bit like a bolognese sauce, but with load of shit loads of chili in it i've also put extra jerk chicken spice in it and over here we have some giant knockies and those have got mozzarella and cheese no mozzarella and cheese <laughs> mozzarella and tomato in them so uh, now i don't even like tomatoes but i actually quite like this stuff i hope i don't suffer in the morning but yeah see i'm such a nice bloke because lee's feeling a bit under the weather so you all think i'm a male chauvinist cock but I'm actually quite a nice person sometimes. Just sometimes. Do you not think, right, now that I'm doing all this chefry nonsense, right, I should have a proper chef's hat. Not a really tall one because I couldn't wear it in the boat, but you know one of them little ones instead of this hat? So I think Lee should buy me a nice, like, chef's hat version of this, don't you? Bye. There we are. Then you see I put all the gnocchi. Well, after I've cooked it, boiled the gnocchi, I put it in the pan and just carry on heating it through with the onions and the meatballs and the chilli sauce. I think we're just about done now. So I might shall serve it up. Bye. It sounded like something fell over in the kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> Come on then, what's it like? Mm. Stuffed. I know, but what? how hot is that stuff? Goodbye. Bye. Better go and check the kitchen because Lee says something <laughs> fell over. <laughs> I just got toffee. <laughs> oh, Hector. Oh, someone's going to tell me off in the comments. <laughs> I feel faint. <laughs> oh, Hector. Lee? Yes. You haven't got up for like four days. <laughs> four days. <coughs> Don't let me laugh, mate. Lee, yes. you know when a, a man coughs, right? If you hold your knapsack in your hand, the old man conkers move, don't they? Do they? Oh, yeah, of course they do. <laughs> you, you, you keep one an old mine and I'll cough. <laughs> right. Go on then. <coughs> <coughs> they move, don't they? Well, Lee, does your lala go <coughs> as well? Possibly, I should just wee myself. It's weird, isn't it? Shall I tell you what else is a bit strange about bodies? <laughs> like, you can sort of suck your bum up, can't you? You know, like you push a poo out, you can also suck one back in, can't you, sort of thing? Oh, I wish you'd suck that up. You've been stinking. I'll tell you. I'm uh, ill. Yeah, that's probably why I'm ill, because you've been stinking me. Don't be ridiculous. I think you've given me something now. <laughs> and have a guess what, Lee? It's actually Wednesday, isn't it? Oh, I haven't put, I a, yeah, but I haven't put a day thing because it's pointless. All I came on camera to say was goodbye. <laughs> because it's the end of the vlog. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lee, I haven't had any sleep for, for like, <coughs> ever. It's even worse for you coughing. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I love I you really. You know, I know you can't help it. Anyway, you're going to say bye to everyone. Bye everyone.
Okay, bye I'm everyone. i treat myself to a shower, everyone. I've been pleased yeah, to she's, I have to tell you, the boat does smell a bit of ladies. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm. I had a shower yesterday. No, it don't matter. You're still... You're, you're, you're sweating. <laughs> well, that might have been the day before. You're, you're sweating like... Um, <coughs> I'm well, not sweating. Yeah, you are. You're greasy, look. You're, I'm not you're sweating. Like, you're like Michael Jackson in Blooming Mother Care. Oh, stop it. Anyway, that's it, everybody. See you I'm next week. Love you sympathy. all. <laughs> yeah, I, I've cooked and everything for you. So I've been far too nice. I'm going now. Bye. <laughs> bye. I'm not allowed to say bye anymore anyway because someone just told us off on the comments. Told me to stop saying bye. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. bye. <laughs> I didn't catch that. <laughs>